let's talk a little about uh, the whole philanthropy piece that you've been involved with. We've seen the latest Companies Act coming in and actually in some way, not philanthropy, but saying it through a CSR mechanism. It's been seen a lot as charity, isn't it? But uh, there are several success stories, yours included, where uh, perhaps there is a scope to balance both and do it in a certain way. How do you see philanthropy? What is the kind of, uh, what should I say, uh, a model, so to speak, which works? So I don't know what is the model, but let me give you my views. My view is our country is so large that private money is a drop in the ocean. And it is not going to make uh, any difference. It's not going to move the needle. Uh, but I'm a supporter of the uh, new company law, but I'll come to that later. I think what our country needs is people to give their intellectual capital, people to get out of uh, creating more and more wealth uh, into creating innovation and creating social impact. What we are trying to do in Sampark Foundation in the field of education is, for example, we've taken uh, you know, 2 lakh 50,000 children in the state of Punjab, 13,500 schools, and trying to bring the transformation in the way education is delivered in class one to five. And we're going to do that in two more states. Now, that needs financial resources, but more importantly, needs a social innovation on in how we can transform the education delivery by the government, through the government, to the children. That's very important. I think as more and more people think themselves as social innovators and not philanthropists. And the reason I say that, if you are a philanthropist, then you cut the check and you feel happy. If you, if you benchmark yourself against social innovation and saying, what social innovation did I bring to the country and what impact it had on the country, and then you'll start judging yourself in a very different uh, cup of tea. Like Bill Gates is measuring himself on his ability to eradicate malaria rather than and how much check he really cut. So I think what we need with corporate sector getting this mandate of spending the 2%, I hope that it is not going to be just funding uh, some irrelevant activity in the country which is going to be of heart but not of the mind. I hope that that 2% will be used to create structured intervention which will drive innovation in social sector change. That is what I'm hoping for.